Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to our training sessions and in here we are covering AWS CDK. So in the last video we were able to create a AWS stack using SQS. Now I'm going to create a couple of more examples to more to just get our get our hands dirty with AWS CDK. So I just copied this demo app into some examples. Okay, let's say I will call it as a simple lambda. Lambda CDK. Okay, and here we are going to play with uh, Lambda, how it works, and all those things. So we are going to change the name of this tech to just simply API Lambda tech. Okay, and here also we can also pass some more attributes. Let's say I'm just passing the stage. Stage means your environment like dev, production, or any other environment in which you wanted to deploy your Lambda because there can be multiple environments and here stage we need to pass in this demo app state tag so here I will just change the name to uh, Lambda stack it is CDK prop so we can define an ex uh, another interface export interface Lambda props which extends CDK stack props and here we can pass stage as a string so this type for this is Lambda props so Lambda app stack okay and the stack is undefined this is required i mean this should be optional if stage is not being passed then we will just use the default stage and here what we are doing we are just going to talk about how we can just create a simple lambda okay so what we are doing here is let's say const simple lambda function equal to new my function okay this is node.js function i mean there are many ways to create a lambda we will also use other different ways of creating this lambda so this and your function name so lambda and here you can pass the stage okay you are passing the stage from this class so stage can be the lambda let's say the api lambda development api lambda production and here you can access the stage from the props lambda function and this is the constructor right what it takes lambda fun function is node.js function and then we will pass all the arguments okay now in the arguments what all it takes memory size memory size is let's say 1024 default not much we are not doing any much computation timeout cdk dot uh, duration and duration is duration dot second is five second okay typescript is our good friend which is telling us okay what are the types we need to use so memory size timeout runtime runtime is important because that is telling this uh, lambda okay this lambda is going to use the runtime node.js okay and here you can see you can specify node.js 16 that's good i mean we can use node.js 18 and then this is the handler okay so what do we i have is i already have this simple lambda and the handler name is the function name is main so the same i need to specify because this is the handler which I'm executing. So the handler is simply in the inside a string that's a main function. And then entry point. Okay, what is the the currently we are not talking about a big lambda, which is a representing a REST APIs and all. It's just like a simple function which is showing simple hello world. Path dot join. And here directory name. 
and the path of the lambda function timeout runtime handler and the entry point i mean what which file here we are just deploying a simple plain lambda function which is just inside a one file otherwise once we have a rest api and whole microservice we need to upload the whole assets or the zip file because it's not a single file and you will be having multiple npm dependencies so same happens with the python or any other programming language either you write a simple inline a single uh, single file function or just write a big app and then you just upload a zip because when when we see the lambda function either you can just write a manually code or you can upload a zip for that okay so this is our stack api lambda stack and then we also can populate this stage environment variable code stage equal to development and now this is our simple lambda function this is just a simple construct okay so we can also see what we are getting so we can get the the lambda function arn and we can put that inside a console out so for now we just do npm run cdk deploy so as we have changed the folder name we need to change the definition here also from demo app to lambda app now if i do because this is cdk json auto generated and your cdk deploy commands will look into this file to deploy your lambda or your particular stack and the constructs so now i will do i will do npm run cdk deploy what it will do is it will execute this command npx ts node prefix and here you can see inside this bin we have lambda app api lambda stack and here we are passing the account and region and here you need to give permission to create a service role and the lambda and this is just a simple tiny code we have written this is using aws lambda and this is just sending an event logging event and saying okay successful lambda invocation okay once it is deployed using cdk deploy we can also destroy the stack using another simple command which is npm run cdk destroy this will remove this particular stack so currently this stack is in the creation so we can check this on our browser so here you can see that we got the lambda api ERM. okay so our lambda resource has been created and this is a particular stack now you may do some changes on this particular stack and deploy it again these changes will be reflected so what we will do for now is cdk destroy that will just destroy the stack which we have created this is just a simple lambda we will see the different ways to create a lambda and here you can see this simple lambda stack is just using this node.js function construct and creating this lambda we are passing stays as an environment variable so you can deploy this application on different environment like development production staging and it is just deploying this simple file it is asking do you want to delete this particular stack uh, i said yes so it will be just uh, delete in progress it will first delete this uh, constructs we we have the lambda function inside it and then it will delete this particular stack so all the resources created inside this cloud formation will be deleted and whenever you execute these cdk commands you will see this cdk out file generated right this contains all the cloud formation resources cdk json is just like a local file which is used by cdk commands which we are executing like what needs to be included what needs to be excluded when it is deploying your application okay so this is just about simple lambda function now here it's not like a just only one way to create a lambda there are other ways like simply you can just simply say new uh, lambda function okay 
we can get lambda from here ew is lambda so you can just do lambda dot function and here also you can pass okay what is the function name let's say i'm just passing my function name is api lambda 2 and i can just pass the environment like stage and here you need to pass the same uh, arguments okay i think it's like memory size 1024 or you can specify the runtime so i can copy a couple of things from there runtime timeout okay maybe something is missing we will add it and then the code from where you are going to import the code definition so it is uh, lambda lambda dot code i guess lambda dot code dot from assets like from which folder if you are like bundling then from which folder i can get the code path dot join current directory name and then what is the lambda function name i mean directory name is maybe a lambda handler okay so this is how you can also create a lambda it's just using the node.js function this is the cdk toolkit construct which we are getting from so this is how we are importing in the aws cdk version 2 this is the lambda function we are getting lambda and then we are creating the function okay so deploying this will be a little different i mean uh, here you can see it was creating a docker container creating the environment and then trying to build trying to deploy this lambda function so we'll just remove this so from directory we need to go up and then there is the source directory we are trying to deploy right so what we will do is npm run cdk deploy we destroy we have already done cdk deploy so what it knows it it's already know that this is the lambda assets from this it needs to pick okay we will be using this only to create our lambda functions and deploy node.js function is was just for the demo purpose and here we are passing the stage environment and you can see this uh, lambda function name also should be somewhere okay it is still showing undefined why i am passing a stage as a props so maybe let's see what is our stack export dot env stage so export stage development and i will do deploy again so this stage is passed as a props okay let's see this now we should be getting the stage as a development and the lambda function name is uh, development so we are good so now it is deploying this lambda function and then we will see we'll be able to see this lambda functions on the aws console how it really looks like currently it's not bundling anything it's just like a simple lambda function uh, which it is getting from the source folder which is really not the right way it will just uh, get everything whatever is inside a source folder but let's say when we are writing a microservice obviously when, when we do build it generates the build output right that is a folder or that is a gif file that we need to upload as assets for the lambda because your lambda function may have uh, some dependencies currently just like a simple function but it also depends on aws lambda function and that's an external dependency which we have added for the typings for the type definitions right so let's see how we can bundle this and then upload it to the aws for the lambda function let's see that in the aws console how it really this is how we were able to create our first lambda now we will see another approach to create a lambda function let's say i will call it as a lambda function 2 
and here we are going to use new lambda dot function I mean this is just another way of uh, creating the lambda function instead of uh, using node.js function we can also write something like this so new lambda functions and the name of the lambda function is let's say api lambda 2 and we can pass the stage also and all our properties so properties are simple here what we are going to do is we are going to get the code from assets folder i mean the simple folder is source from which we are going to get the code and the function name whatever you wanted to put a uh, simple api lambda 2 and the handler handler here is index.handler because index is the file and the function name is the handler now this was being done differently it was creating a docker container and creating the whole node.js environment and deploying it here we are just passing the source code to which it will be considered as a lambda function so here we cannot write a typescript code if we are writing typescript code then obviously we need to bundle it and we need to archive it and add all the dependencies and all so we are just creating a simple function index.js this is just our simple lambda function nothing much and here this is what we are going to deploy so lambda app stack this is our first lambda function and this is our second lambda function and here the handler is index.handler and it is getting the code from the assets source okay so we need to comment it out because we don't have this typescript file now right now so we are not using this particular construct or node.js function we just have this simple lambda function so i will just export the stage npm run cdk deploy so it should be able to deploy my another lambda function from the source and in the inside a source we have just a dot js file if we write a typescript file because then you need to have all the dependencies bundled properly and then that is like totally a different set of tasks we will do when we write a the simple service the, obviously that contains a dependencies typescript code bundling and all these things are involved and what we are going to deploy once you just simply bundle the the node modules all the dependencies you get a zip file and that zip file you deploy as a lambda and then you also specify the handler okay inside uh, there is an index file that contains this function name handler here also you see inside this index.js the function name is the handler so node.js runtime the lambda runtime will know okay inside this folder there is index.js and that contains the handler as a function and we can see something happening here like all the the lambda functions will be deployed here our function name from this stack is the lambda node okay lambda node and the stack name is api lambda 2 i mean this is a, just a construct name okay fail to create lambda name already exists okay let's change it to api lambda node and deploy it again if the resource already exists it won't uh, create it again here because we might have changed the function name so the thing is if you change this stack name here the construct name api lambda 3 and you change the and you are not changing the function name then obviously it will say okay with this particular construct the lambda function already exists so now i have changed this one and the both this one so it will create this as a fresh lambda function with uh, this and it will deploy it so let's see the the output and then we will test this simple lambda function it is a plain and simple lambda function just printing some hello world message write this simple lambda function just returning a json object and you can attach an api gateway to this lambda function so you will get this json output from some rest api
So we can see some progress happening at the cloud formation. So we can see this is uh, because it is updating this particular stack API Lambda stack. So this is our stack name. This is updating it, and these are the constructs. So all the resources. You can see this function name has been created now. We can go to the lambda and see API lambda node and you can see a simple function has been created on the AWS console and you can test it also because it's plain JavaScript. We didn't write any TypeScript code. So we were not having any issues with the bundling for now. So this is just a simple lambda function. Either way, you can deploy a simple Lambda function using Node.js function, right? Oh, because here we were writing TypeScript code and obviously then it requires uh, bundling that and compiling, bundling and then uh, creating the final outcome and then just uh, uploading that as an archive. So it is totally happening in the different scale. So if you have seen that, because when we were deploying this container, it is creating a docker container and then doing all these uh, stuff to deploy this particular lambda resource but here it is just a plain lambda function simple node.js function we are deploying so there is no need of containers and all so node.js function is just a one way and the lambda node function is just another way of creating a lambda function using uh, AWS CDK it's just all about playing with lambda functions understanding these uh, different settings you can set here you can also set the environments. So I mean the environments are all the environments, runtime environments you want because there are many attributes in this Lambda function. If you see, if I talk about configurations, like what all uh, environment variables you have, which you want to add in the process.env, which can be helpful at the runtime for the Lambda function and all the general configurations like timeout, memory, uh, storage, all these you can provide in this construct. Memory size, environment, in the environments, let's say the stage. Here I can pass this stage, whatever I'm getting. So this will get populated in the environments here inside the configurations and permissions. Permissions like, let's say, this lambda function needs to read and write through the to the S3 or SNS or SQS. Then you can add permissions to this lambda resource. So then you will just use this construct dot grant invoke grant invoke URL grant permissions. I think there are many uh, things you can just add. Add permission right so all these things are there which will add permissions like if you want to add a event source if this lambda is a lambda trigger then you can add attach a s3 bucket or sqs or sns as an event source so that whenever you put something on the s3 bucket this lambda automatically gets triggered or you can attach an api gateway to this lambda so you can expose this lambda function to the outside world through HTTP mapping like HTTP get put post on the API gateway endpoint will invoke this particular lambda. So all those things we will see in the demos first to understand all those concepts.